Welcome to one of the most beautiful settings in college football, Lavelle Edwards Stadium at the foot of the Wasatch Mountains in Provo, Utah, where BYU takes on number 24, USC. The Cougars looking to knock off another Power 5 foe after dispensing of Tennessee and come from behind fashion in Knoxville next week. He enrolled at USC in the spring. And Slovis to the air on first down, a long pass to Pittman. And Pittman is brought down after a gain of nine in the play. Play from scrimmage. Another pass play here. Slovis setting up. And another on target throw for a first down to Vaughns. Stacked up in midfield. Leads the country in completion percentage coming in. He's going to hand it off here to Malapai. Turns it upfield and gets to the 45 yard line. That Graham Harrell really likes to see out of his running back. Off play action, Slovis pass, batted down at the line of scrimmage. And you're going to see Tonga just right in the middle. Because of this offense's quick strike attack, it's highly unlikely that BYU is going to be able to consistently rush the passer. So what do you do as a defensive line? 12 consecutive completions for Slovis going back to the Stanford game. Looks to get another streak going here as he swings it up for first down to Malapai. Made that first guy miss. Very high. They keep it on the ground here. Malapai and a ton of running room as that offensive line leaning on BYU early oh, on. It's a game. The three sophomores in the starting five. Play fake here. Slovis setting up. And Pittman able to make the catch. A first down to the 12. Ah, but, man, they are certainly in sync early in the season. Another pass play. Slovis long throw. A diving attempt. And it's a catch for Vaughn. Slovis with time and wide open in the end zone is Pittman touchdown. The Trojans make it look easy through the air. Through two pick sixes in the first game against Utah, but got hot down the stretch against Tennessee. They'll run the ball here and get a first down with Tyson Williams. Where the game deep balls overthrown early in the game because you're all fired up at quarterback. They fake that jet sweep. Wilson keeps it. What a juke on the defensive lineman Drake Jackson. They eventually get Wilson out of bounds. He doesn't like it. It's going to be quick passing game. I would assume throughout the course of the game. Slovis to the air, gets hit, and taken down for a sack by Tonga. So Tonga with a bad heart is engaged and you're getting tackled. So BYU gets SC a little bit off schedule here. And then St. Brown out in space, knocked out of bounds. Slovis gets rid of it quickly and is juggled and Wilgar picks it off. What an amazing effort with the full extension there by Wilgar. Slovis' eyes takes him right to it. Zach Wilson, the true sophomore quarterback, and a hand it off. Here comes a fake reverse, and keeping it is Williams to the five. Dies for the end zone. He hit the pylon, but he stepped out of bounds. But still a really, really nice play right the field here. Man, the runner coverage. was out of bounds at the two-yard so line. He ran BYU. the other direction, which left nothing but wide open space for Tyson Williams. Coverage early on. Definitely stepped out of the two. Here's Williams again, and he gets stacked up, pushing towards the goal line. This is how they won the game against Tennessee when the offensive line came in and helped Williams, pushing him in the end zone. But they rule forward progress. We'll see if they give it to him again here on second and goal. They will. He dies for the end zone, and he's in. Touchdown, BYU. Oh, boy, that knee was down right there. And he looks later. Jeff Grimes, offensive line coach. Their head coach, Kalani Sataki, fullback. I think they're going to run the football. They're likely to pound it up inside, and probably two downs to get it. Well, look, I mean, they got three defensive linemen in there as well. They pitch it, and it's a touchdown for BYU. It ends up being Tyson. Actually, that's the other number five. That's Skowolaku. He's got second and eight. Got a ton of time, and Pittman comes free, making the catch at the 20-yard line. Close to the first down. Good, with the exception of one bad decision here early today. Off play action, Slovis over the middle, another interception, and it's another linebacker. It's Kafusi picking this one off, and he takes it back to the 26-yard line. Back to back. Read eyes. I mean, look at his eyes in the back. Watching, feeling. He's got to come back to the outside that he knows Slovis is not going to. So he just slides right underneath the ball being thrown over the middle. That's two interceptions now. 
Here comes another trick play. Jaron Hall, the backup quarterback, hits the starting quarterback, Zach Wilson, and it's first and goal. It's with Matt Bushman, number 89, their tight end. It's a roll off to the left and a throw to the end zone. High intended for Dax Mill. 23-yard try here. It's good. And Carr elects to return it. And that was a poor choice. Brought down at the 12-yard line. Bad field position and turnovers, not the way you want to start out a road game. Slovis' pass here on the money to Pittman out near the 20-yard line. Had a chance to take the first drive of the game. On third and three. Slovis now forced out of the pocket. And dumps it off for a first down to Malapaya. A missed tackle allowed. Pass play here on second down and long. Slovis leaving the pocket again. And he's got Crowman Hook, the tight end, wide open. Inside the 10-yard line, and they finally catch up to him around the five. Out up the top, see number five, Diane Kahulaku, leave his post on the perimeter and follow Pittman inside, setting up. Final seconds of the opening quarter, and Slovis, his pass tipped, and oh, it's caught by an offensive lineman. And then they're going to say incomplete. It was times before it hit the ground. Man, another bad decision there by Keaton Slovis. Very fortunate that that ball wasn't intercepted. Slovis with time, and the pass incomplete. To the four-yard line. Longa is having a heck of a game. This is his second deflection in the passing game. For a short field goal attempt. And he ties the game at 10. As Here he is on second and 20. And he dumps it off on a crossing route to Hifo. And he's thrown out of bounds. Have some guys that are very capable, most notably number 99, Drake Jackson. Wilson wide open out of the backfield is Tyson Williams and he's got the first down as he lowers the shoulder on a defender. In man coverage you have to understand where you're at and when you lose a guy you're in trouble. Wilson's pass is caught back shoulder throw to Lalu Pututau. Play so it's to be mano a mano throughout. They're gonna run it here and Asupa's going nowhere dragged down to the backfield for a loss. Wilson with time and a great catch made for a first down by Micah Simon. 64-yard catch with seven seconds left to set up the game-tying field goal against the Vols. Wilson with a ton of time, hitches, now backs up, pointing, chasing his three defenders for USC. Wilson still got the ball, and now he just dumps it off to Simon, and he gets about two or three yards. 48. Man coverage across the board from SC, all press. Play fake. Wilson setting up, takes a shot downfield, and oh, what a catch! Touchdown! Press coverage, get up in my grill on third and five, come on. Let's go. Dax Mill, little slot fade, right up the numbers, and a beautiful throw from his quarterback, Zach Wilson, who's off. To Saw only one incompletion on that last drive. Malapai getting the carry, and out near the 29. See how he responds after the two interceptions. They're going to keep it on the ground with Malapai. Got a first down. When in doubt, pound the football. This is a new fast. They take advantage of their athleticism in space. Slovis rolling out here. Late pressure coming. Slovis hits Malapai out of the backfield. Up to the 45 for a good pickup. I love it. <laughs> Back to the ground to Marquis Step. Able to slip a tackle as he jumps into the secondary. And all the way to the 44-yard line. It's also create a little balance with their run game. Slovis zips it to Vaughns, and BYU is all over it. They'll give him positive yard. Step stays in the game. Haven't seen Zane Anderson in a while for BYU at safety. He runs straight ahead, and Step is inside the 40-yard line. They will run it. And step behind blockers, easily gets the first down, takes defenders with him all the way to the top of a chance at. Slovis looking, now come back to the other side, and a receiver comes free. It's Vaughns, who's got it inside. So first and goal on the five-yard line. Give to Malapai, touchdown, USC! 
The fourth of the year for Malapai. Especially with Tufele and Drake Jackson off the edge. They fake the jet sweep. Here's a pitch. A lot of running room for Tyson Williams on a beautifully executed play. Williams has the first down. Got the pitch. If he takes the pitch, man, quarterback's going to have a big game himself. Here's the backup. A soup up getting a carry. Out of bounds at the plan to work against SC. Wilson with time to throw. And close to a first down is Romney. Looks like a guy. Here comes a loose defender, and the pass batted down and intercepted off the deflection. It's picked up. You make a bad play worse by turning it into an interception, but you look at that, the ball, nose of the football. Jose. After review, the ball hit the ground. It's an incomplete pass. Look, if I'm Zach Wilson. Had only two catches last week. Tennessee did a good job against him. Wilson going downtown, and the pass is pulled in. Shumway and a penalty marker comes in. Steal. Now I don't want to know what would happen to you, Dave, if you tried to bend like that and make a catch. It would not end well. Snapped in half. <laughs> but, oh, my goodness. Temperature expected to be around 85. Wilson with time again, and it's broken up. Will we have interference again? No. Four yard attempt. Old Droid is perfect this year. Trying to hook, it does, but too late. McElroy got a phone call this week. It was not from the Jets. <laughs> Here's Carr cutting it back. And he's up to about the 33-yard line. Before, can you name the team that finished second that year in the AP poll? Think about it as Slovis steps up, keeps the play alive, dumping it off to Carr. Gets the first down as BYU's defenders. I don't know if they just thought he was going to go out of bounds or what. On first down, Slovis with time. Again, Carr comes free out of the backfield and gets yardage after another missed tackle. Got to get to the 41-yard line. Slovis going to get hit. The ball is out. And an offensive lineman for USC. Very Side in a one-on-one -on -one against Neal in the center. And Vauatea. Just stripping the ball, and Keaton Slovis does a pretty good job in the pocket of maintainers. DeVito's having a tough time filling the shoes of what was a great quarterback over the last few years. Now that screen was uh, just... He's going to keep it on the ground here with Katoa. And he's bottled up on what will be the final play of a very entertaining first half in Provo. When we return, Kevin Nagandi, Jonathan Doma, Mark Sanchez will catch you up with everything on the State Farm Halftime Report. BYU actually averaged more yards of carry than SC did on the ground in that first half. And a great move there at the second level by Tyson Williams. It's a beautiful job on the zone read. Trying to read Connor Murphy, number 90, the end man on the line of scrimmage. He chases. Zach Wilson back in on second down and 11. Defender comes free. Wilson gets hit. Ball comes out. The hand was going full. It's really kind of all going to revolve around Jay Tufele, their defensive tackle. Who's from Salt Lake City, by the way. Flag comes down, and Dra Jackson forces a fumble on the sack. And the ball is loose. You've got a Trojan and a Cougar wrestling. 14 years old from Scottsdale, Arizona. And they run on first down, and Carr is dropped. Max Tooley making the area where he might try to get out of the ball out of the hands. Slovis leaving the pocket, being chased, keeps his eyes downfield, and then gets squashed. He's on, expecting to get plenty of opportunities here in the second half. But it's going to be a pass play for Zach Wilson. Everybody covered again. Wilson's going to get hit. Boy, how did he sense the defender coming from behind him and avoid the sack? Now he tucks it and runs, takes a shot, but he get the first down at the 19-yard line after. They fake that jet sweep and run Williams. He's able to get away from the initial defender. And wow, he almost got the first down when it looked like. Wilson sat. Dropped by Hunter Eccles at the middle that of Johnny Football. Pretty high praise from Tennessee head coach. Malapai turning it upfield on first down with a big run. Breaking tackles. And ran into his own guy that time. Because we've never had a back that could carry it 30 times. Malapai might be the first guy ever in a true air raid system. Box defensively, expect a run from USC. Yep, Malapai. 
And it's going to be close. They mark him short. The ball did not get to the 41. Zach Daw, who's a two-time high school state wrestling champ in Utah, was able to grab a hold of the running back and pin him. SC keeping its offense on the field, and then Clay Helton says, nope. Zach Wilson, we told him at the beginning of the broadcast, he's a little bit like Johnny Manziel. I mean, just kind of hopping around, buying time, waiting, waiting, patient, and then eyes in the back of the head. He pulls a rabbit out of a hat, and next thing you know, he's out the gate on the backside. Does it remind you a little bit of Johnny just bouncing around, hopping, doesn't like it, doesn't like it, gone. <laughs> just, uh, this is not us that made the... Wilson out of the pocket. Look at USC here, guys. Saw Jeff Grimes, the OC, a flag is down. It's a first down grab for Matt Bushman. First time we've called his name. Illegal substitution. Defense, 12 on the field. That penalty is declined. Result of the play, first down. Look at all those guys. I mean, no, just completely discombobulated as they were trying to get a substitution to get the way he stopped and the way the guys moved. It was strange, the handle there between Hefo and Wilson. There's yeah, he Milton just bobbled him. Give to Asufa, and great balance as he was getting tackled. Get that offense in a bit of a rhythm, maybe take a shot over the top at some point. Wilson rolling to the right, and that back shoulder throw, caught. A flag down to Romney with a great catch. Need to get a bit closer for Jake Oldroyd, who missed a 44-yarder earlier. Wilson's pass on target for a first down. Lalu. Patuto on the catch, it takes a handful of you. This tempo is really simplifying the coverage and the looks you're getting from the Trojans. Wilson to the air. Hefo goes down to get it. On third down and short. A nice job by Clay inside here on third and short. There it is with Williams. And Ote Ote makes the play. At right. You're right, there's no field goal. They went with the, the group that scored the touchdown with Luke Andrada at quarterback. And Timeout. Gawoluku is moving and they pitch it to him again. It's the same play. Oh my goodness. Gawoluku gets absolutely pasted. It did not get the first down, but was there a whistle before the snap? On the previous play, the substitution process was not completed. Therefore, we're going to give USC their timeout back. Right now, we're going to replay fourth down. Wow. But why didn't they announce that before they lined up to run that last play? Yeah, why, why the late whistle? That should have been announced long before BYU was even set up to run the aforementioned play. Let's see if they have a wrinkle off of it. They've run it twice now, one time successfully, one time not. Let's see if they can do something off of it. Nope. Gawolaku gets the call again, trying to muscle his way past the line to gain, and it looks like he did. Of the line to gain. The, uh, the linesman on this side, he was short, and he is short. USC ball. Slovis, the true freshman quarterback, with a shovel pass to Carr. And Carr is up to the first down. The space to run the ball if you to up to that. Slovis, little pressure. And Slovis going to keep it here. Wrapped up at the 28-yard line by Will. One time in the third quarter. He'll throw it here, and Pittman's got it for a first down for USC. Out near the 44. And I would expect to run play here, but... Slovis will throw. Instead, it is caught but short of the line to gain. Run fake again because those RPOs are starting to give a little for him. Slovis pass to the sideline. Vaughn's with a lot of cushion. Get Slovis looking. Has a completion, but Pittman is short. Tackled by... And Step gets the call and gets... The first down. That was a good list, by the way. Boys get what Avant. <laughs> That's the Rolling Stones, Greg. I know it's a little before your time. Here's a ball to the end zone for Pittman. Oh, he caught it. Pittman caught it with Gawolaku all over. It was. I don't know that he was pushed out. I mean, is he going out on his own here? Is Gawolaku pushing him? I guess you could make the case because they're hand fighting that Gawolaku helped him to the sideline, which means then as long as he catches it inbounds 
and lands in bounds, it's a touchdown. Now, right. if he goes out on his own, he can't. The receiver was forced out of bounds, reestablished himself in bounds prior to catching the football by Rule. That's a touchdown. Teams. One of those being Clemson to Syracuse. So, could have some chaos today in college football. Tyson Williams leaps over his own guy and is out to the 31. Been really impressed. You appreciate more than anything. He never gives up on runs, always drives those legs and fights for extra yardage. Wilson will throw here and a pass that's caught by Hefo. Gets rid of one man and Hefo is out near midfield. Asupa is in the game at tailback. That is Simon in motion. Wilson to the air. He's going to check it down to Simon out in space. And he's into SC territory, still going, past the 30. Great balance before he finally falls out of bounds inside the 20. Ball these last couple weeks, good job of getting upfield for the big play. They get 30 yards there, here's a quick pitch to Asupa around the end. And a beautiful jump cut there by Asupa. It's gone, it's gone. And he splits the uprights. Again, first road start for Slovis, he's never seen an environment like this. A true freshman giving it to Step to try to give him some breathing room, and he fumbled the ball at the 14-yard line. Fuck. And you see big number 91, Tuioti Mariner, getting a big arm on that football, jarring it loose. Might just look to hand the football off, maybe a receiver breaks one. Slovis will throw, and the pass is on target, but out of bounds was Putnam, incomplete. Just a little speed out. Really close. See the ball secure. Holoku defensively. Man, right there. Ah. Does he have it there? <laughs> it's so hard. I mean, to it's. Tell. Here we go. Here's Scott After Campbell. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Fourth down. Yeah. Not enough video evidence to say, yep, the call on the field was wrong. We're overturning that. So, SC. He'll throw it here on first down. Pressure up the middle. Wilson gets away from trouble. Oh, a wide open receiver. It's caught inside the 20 by Romney. That was Manzo. Okay. Out of an empty set here. It's a design quarterback run for Wilson. Straight ahead. First down and touchdown. BYU has the lead again. Quarterback draw to Pater. Really great play against man coverage. When you have man coverage, those defenders' eyes, they're on the receivers that they're covering. Therefore, they're not sure what's going on in the backfield. They have five for five. Kurt Warner was his offensive coordinator. And they're gonna let Slovis throw it here, and it's a strike for a first down to Tyler Bonds. Out to the third. Probably lean towards the run game here with how they're running. Yep, Malapai drilled in the backfield and taken down. Yeah, it's unbelievable. This has been a matchup that has been dominated so far by BYU. I mean, Tong running right at big number 95. And Marquis step in, and he gets the carry and the first down. Running back to adjust to the flow defensively. Slovis had a little trouble with a snap. Boy, Vaughn's wide open. Gets rid of one defender, and then you could potentially throw that one-on-one -on -one outside. Slovis will throw here on third and five, going over the middle. Broken up, tipped a couple times, and an incomplete. Almost have sealed a win for BYU. It's a good throw by Slovis. It looked like the Holoku was there just a little bit early. See that right hand. And McGrath buries it. Zach Wilson has some special instincts, man. <laughs> Look at him just run around in the pocket. Short area quickness, get vertical, threaten the line of scrimmage. Keep his eyes downfield and hit Romney. Who does that remind you of? Oh, yeah. Johnny Football. How about <laughs> Johnny getting vertical, keeping his eyes downfield? BYU offense. White clock at zeros. So they get the playoff. It's a pitch to Tyson Williams, and he's got a ton of room. In the USC territory, a late flag just flew in back around the 35-yard line, which... Personal foul. Blocking below the waist. Oh, check Number 15. Offense. 15-yard penalty. Gain some momentum moving forward. Now you're operating from inside your 20. Wilson's going to throw it to the sideline to get back near the original line. Lapini Kato is in the game. He's a good receiver out of the backfield. Might be why he's in there. And right on cue makes the catch, but went to the ground. Oh, he's just trying to get... you got to look in the direction of Hefo. Hefo's been playing well this drive. Let's see if they look his way. Wilson in trouble. 
And he's got three Trojans tracking him. Wilson pointing downfield. He's going to run. And he gets hit. He's awfully close to the first down. Positive yardage on first down. Slovis has time, and he's going to take a shot going for Pittman, and a flag comes down. The defender fell down and made contact with Pittman. Gawolaku. On both sides, but I thought for sure in this scenario, I can see it with that right arm. Yeah. That right arm kind of throwing Gawolaku down. I don't want to get too aggressive backed up. Almost like you play for overtime now, back inside your 10 now. Hey, they'll bust a good run. Still going. And brought down at the 25, the clock will stop. BYU's not a line. But they're just going to run Malapai, and he's tackled back at the 19-yard line. BYU call a timeout here. Yep. Really, really tough. They've done a nice job with the, with the coaching staff as well. Malapai just trying to hold on to the ball here on third down. BYU's out of timeouts, and we are going to overtime. 27 apiece. More to come. Tackle here at the line of scrimmage for Houston. Smith takes off and is sacked. Drake, Jackson, Marlin, Tui in the pass game. That's Hefo in motion. Back to pass goes Wilson, and he's going to the end zone. Knocked away by Taylor Stewart. Intended for Micah Simon. Yard try to get BYU some points here in overtime. And it's good. Gee, that's usually a pretty good run tell for them. Malapai running left. And he is brought down in the backfield. Ayu was on the ground, and he still made the hit. He's also shaken. Down to the left. Malapai able to break that initial tackle, but then got tripped up. Third and six for USC. The field goal to tie. Touchdown to win. Slovis going to throw. Zips it. Passes tip. It was picked off, the game is over, it is intercepted! Gawolaku got it for the Cougars! See him close on it. I mean, you see the ball hit the ground, but does it move? Right. Does he still control it? It's a, it can hit the ground. That's not the issue. It's whether or not he's controlling it as he goes to the ground. Because there is no clear and obvious video evidence saying, I can see the ball. It definitely hit the ground, and he definitely lost control. I don't think so. I don't either. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Interception.